it's working. <clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to Metafactoria. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, resource management. Um, what this means is that in order for your player to, you know, uh, perform some particular task, they may need to gather some resources. Um, maybe that involves going to mine some coal, maybe that means going to pick up some iron plates from some other part of the base that we've already built. So we're going to try to make it start on that. It'll be kind of a short stream today. I only have about an hour in the morning and then uh, maybe I'll do some more in the evening tonight, but uh, we'll see how far we get this morning. Okay, so I think I need to figure out first if the thing that we're trying to get is a entity or an item. Although I guess it would always be an item, right? Even if it's... Because uh... there'll be an item in here for... Yeah, like coal. Hmm. Is there a resource for... Uh, sorry, an entity for like iron plates? Okay. 
Maybe I should just make a list of things that don't need modules, or I could stop. I could abstract it and make a. Um, have there be like a seed list of modules, which is just the patches of or on the ground. Because really, what I want to do here is something along the lines of for each source that I know about, give me the best one. kind of implies that I'm going to have some kind of a resource source class or at least an interface that looks consistent for resource sourcing I want to put something in here like value fitness, I guess is probably a good AI term for it, but um, basically it's like the desirability of using that source so that once I have, let's say, coal on belts, um, that's more desirable to go in, or even just coal in the, in the burner to burner module. Um, I want that to be more desirable than going and digging up your own coal. Maybe that's a maybe that really is some kind of a view on um, how easy it is to collect the fitness. Okay. So options here is type is some string, quantity is some number. Position is some position. Fitness some number, I guess. And you could probably start off with just having zeros for the fitness. Um, and then maybe you could do something like your fitness is always the fitness of the previous best plus one or something. Um, that will give you... That will give the player incentive to always try and use the newest part of the factory, like the best part of the factory. But there's also the, the possibility that the best resource source will be um, for you to handcraft it. So... There is always that as well. Okay, I need to go and get this stupid uh, this thing. Do I want defaults for any of these? Probably not. Okay. So I have a resource source. Which means the resource manager is going to have a bunch of sources.
Okay. Um, there's also a little bit of trade-off that we probably want to do here eventually around like even if there is a source with higher fitness somewhere um, we want to consider the distance that the player is going to have to travel um, and like how much that drops off is obviously a, a tunable variable but because um, you probably don't want to be running all the way across your factory to go pick up uh, iron gear wheels when you could just craft them in your hand very easily Um, there's also the case here so okay then we probably want to do some kind of an initialize This is initialized with the player, and we're going to have a list of, um, I guess, things that are on the ground, so starting resources. Uh, and that is going to be, I guess, raw wood, iron ore. Copper ore, coal, and stone. So the only one of these things that's a little bit weird is the raw wood, because raw wood does not come from a patch of raw wood on the ground, it comes from trees. Hmm. Yeah, type equals tree. 